Hello, this is a high yield emergency medicine shelf review video primarily for dermatology. And with that being said, the dermatology is tailored to the ER shelf. This is separate from uh, general dermatology. So with that being said, let's get started. Eczema is also known as atopic dermatitis. It presents as complaints of pruritus, rash predominantly on the flexor surfaces. The treatment is you want to treat the symptoms and use hydrocortisone. Seboric dermatitis is dry peeling of the scalp. You'll see it in newborns as cradle cap. The treatment is antifungal shampoo, ketoconazole. Psoriasis presents as erythematous plaques with silver scales and nail biting. It can have punctate bleeding spots. Um, arising from the psoriasis scales uh, when you try to itch or scrap them off. The treatment is non-curative, but the treatment includes topical corticosteroids and UV light. Lichen planus is associated with hepatitis C. It causes pruritic papules with an overlying white lace-like pattern. The treatment is topical corticosteroids. Dermatitis herpetiformis is a pruritic rash associated with celiac disease. The treatment is a gluten-free diet. Pityriasis rosea is, uh, remember you want to Remember that it's that herald patch and it's a single salmon colored lesion on the trunk and then it develops into a Christmas tree distribution after one to two weeks. The treatment is antihistamines for symptomatic cases. Comparing and contrasting angioedema versus hereditary angioedema. In angioedema, you're going to see swelling of the hands, face, mouth, and tongue. The most common cause is aspirin. Classic associations include ACE inhibitors and NSAIDs. The treatment is antihistamines, H1, H2 blockers, corticosteroids, and epinephrine. Hereditary angioedema, on the other hand, is autosomal dominant, presents as edema and GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. You diagnose um, by checking the complement levels during an acute attack. The C4 level will be low. And your typical epinephrine and antihistamines are not effective in treatment. So you want to focus on supportive care as the answer for treating hereditary angioedema. Erysipelas is a raised, well-demarcated border, most commonly caused by group A strep. The treatment uh, includes dicloxacillin and erythromycin. And then erythema nodosum is a bilateral rash on the lower extremities, indicative of inflammatory bowel disease, and pyoderma gangrenosum starts as an inflammatory pustule that progresses to an ulcer. You're going to see this in inflammatory bowel disease as well. You want to treat uh, this uh, for a systemic disease for the duration of 4 to 10 weeks. Erythema multiform starts out as a target lesion and then becomes confluent. It's following primarily viral infections, including HSV and COVID. It can also follow drug reactions and medications such as penicillin. The boards is going to be primarily emphasizing HSV. The treatment is supportive. Erythema multiform has two forms, major and minor. Major includes the mucosa. Minor does not involve the mucosa. Stephen Johnson syndrome is characterized by diffuse epidermal ne necrosis and detachment, which is common with medication reactions. And the common medications you'll see are allopurinol, sulfa drugs, penicillin, phenytoin. The mucous membranes are involved. Stephen Johnson syndrome has a skin sloughing in less than 10% of the body surface area. Meanwhile, contrasted to the toxic epidermal necrolysis, where skin sloughing is greater than 30% of the total body surface area. And in these patients, the skin is actually separating from the dermis. The treatment is removing the offending medical medication agent. You want to admit to an ICU or burn unit for further care and evaluation. You want to consult ophthalmology early as vision loss is a complication. The major cause of death in these patients is sepsis secondary to staph aureus or pseudomonas. Staphylococcal scald skin syndrome is caused by staph aureus ex exfoliative toxins. You'll often see a febrile infant with diffuse blanching. The erythema will begin around the mouth. The skin findings are consistent with fragile tense bullae that rupture on their own. It has a positive Nikolsky sign. No mucous membranes are involved in the treatment is IV nafcillin, oxacillin, and you want to push IV fluids. Toxic shock syndrome Patients will have nausea, vomiting, diffuse sunburn-like rash, including palms and soles. These patients are at risk for skin disquamation and multi-organ failure. It's associated with staph aureus, but blood cultures may be negative. The treatment is supportive and empiric antibiotics against staph. You want to remove the underlying cause. So you may think that it'll be a teenager with a tampon, but the boards may actually choose a male patient with some sort of packing left in uh, post-operatively. Skin cancers. There's a couple big ones you need to know. Anything that looks pearly, rolled border with central ulceration, you want to think about basal cell carcinoma. The risk factors include UV radiation and sunlight. 
It's common on the face. Squamous cell carcinoma typically has a central area of necrosis. The treatment is surgery and radiation. You want to be, be aware of marge, margellin ulcer, which is when the squamous cell carcinoma arises from a non-healing ulcer or burn. The most important prognostic factor for melanoma is the tumor thickness. You want to use the ABCDE criteria to help you diagnose a melanoma. Remember, it's asymmetry, border irregularity, color change, diameter greater than 6 millimeters, and evolving lesion. Tinea capitis is treated with oral medications. Tinea versicolor is a hypo or hyperpigmented circular scaly patches associated with malassezia furfur. The treatment is selenium sulfide shampoo, hydratinitis superativa. It's most often found in the axillary region. It's due to apocrine sweat glands. Surgery is the definitive therapy. Staph aureus is the most common organism isolated. Gonococcemia can cause two different disseminated gonococcal syndromes. The first is characterized by tenosynovitis, dermatitis, and polyarthralgias. The skin findings often on the dorsal surface of the distal extremities near joints and it's self-limited. Blood cultures uh, and cultures from the skin lesions are often negative. And then the other presentation is purulent arthritis without skin findings. Infectious endocarditis is composed of splinter hemorrhages, Janeway lesions or non-tender macula on the palms and soles. Osler nodules, which are tender subcutaneous nodules usually found on distal pads and digits, and Roth spots, which are retinal hemorrhages. Sporotrichocosis will often present in a vignette as someone picking roses, and they'll develop cutaneous ulcers along a lymphatic channel. The treatment of Lyme disease is doxycycline. Rocky Mountain spotted fever treatment is doxycycline. Treatment of tularemia is streptomycin. Herpes zoster, also known as shingles, has painful vesicles following a dermatome distribution. The treatment is acyclovir. Rubiola is cough, coryza, conjunctitis, conjunctivitis, and complex spots, which are white, bluish elevations on an erythematous base. Rubella is consistent with fever, rash, lymphadenopathy. The complication of natural measles infection is subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Bits disease is slap cheek, parvovirus B19. Hand foot mouth disease is a rash on the hand foot and mouth caused by Coxsackie virus. The treatment is supportive. Hinoxine purpura is abdominal pain, palpable purpura, edema, nephritis, arthralgias, and arthritis. The treatment is self-limited. Kawasaki's disease is a fever greater than five days plus at least four of the following. Conjunctivitis, rash that starts on the palms and soles, adenopathy, strawberry tongue, hands and feet disqualmation. The complication, if you don't treat it, is coronary artery aneurysm. The treatment is aspirin, IVIG, plus or minus steroids. Impetigo is a superficial bacterial infection associated with staph aureus and strep pyrogenes. The treatment is muparosin. Scarlet fever is a group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, and it's due to sore throat, fever, bright red strawberry tongue, and diffuse erythematous rash with papules, also known as a sandpaper rash. And that's it for the high yield emergency medicine shelf review specific to dermatology. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thank you all so much for your time.